Those opposed say no, that is carried. Thank you very much for excellent work. Uh, next item Thank on the you. agenda is my monthly report. Um, I've actually used the report this month to um, bring forward a, uh, a, a agreement to uh, fund um, additional investment required in the Greater Christchurch Spatial Plan Work Programme, which is being undertaken by the Greater Christchurch Partnership. Um, and, uh, it, and the reason I'm doing that is literally we're coming to the end of the financial year and this is to come out of um, this year's uh, financial thing, so it doesn't impact on the LTP at all, and the Chief Executive informs me that we can do that uh, within existing um, savings. And uh, the purpose of the um, strategic, I'm um, sorry, the spatial planning work is uh, with the new strategic framework being um, developed at the moment, the, the, the Greater Christchurch Spatial Plan is to give effect to that strategic framework and to, um, to, to look at the urban form as it relates to Waimakariri, Selwyn and Christchurch and the interrelationships um, in order to uh, work with central government on its uh, urban growth agenda and, and um, we see this as an important step in progressing in an urban growth partnership, which I know that uh, people have been looking forward to seeing us um, develop for some time now. The, the individual councils have been working with MHUD since, since um, March this year to scope the project plan, but it is a major, major piece of work, but it is um, core critical to um, bringing all of those things um, together that uh, relate to uh, both not, not just transport and, um, and, and housing, but they are a given, uh, but it's also all of the challenges that um, we need to confront in relation to um, uh, climate change and, uh, and a number of the other issues that are blah, blah, blah in relation. Sorry, I'm blathering now, so I will just stop there um, and ask if there are any questions, and I'll then hand over to the Chief Executive to answer any of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Annie. Do we have the total budget? And um, I guess what I'm just trying to understand is the bigger picture. So I appreciate we've got a cost share arrangement, and I know that I think last year you negotiated with our neighbours to a better, more sensible funding arrangement. But I just really wanted to understand the total budget, how much others were contributing, um, and I, I guess what's I'm just getting a little bit worried about the duplication of work that we're doing as a city versus what ECAN's doing versus what Greater Christchurch is doing versus what Canterbury Mural Forum are doing. So I just wondered if there was any existing resource that we could actually just put into this, but it's really hard without seeing the budget. I did put this through yesterday, sorry. So sorry, I, I haven't meeting. seen that. Yeah. And um, well, this, I, is, afraid. this is in my report, and um, I wasn't aware that, that you'd raise this. Um, the, the issue here is, is specifically in relation to this project. So I don't have the numbers here, so I'm really sorry. I didn't know that, they, that you wanted to see the whole thing. We're not looking at the total funding package that uh, we signed up for with the Greater Christchurch Partnership, in which we've, you know, we've been a member of essentially before, you know, back in the day when it was the... Um, Urban Development Strategy Implementation Committee, which um, is where it started uh, back in what 2007. So th this is a this is a partnership that we've committed to for a long time. This is this is additional work that hasn't been funded, uh, and I can't remember what the total cost is. But this is um, this is a share based on our population numbers for the spatial plan project. That all of the, the Greater Christchurch Partnership doesn't have the ability to adopt plans. The work is done by the partnership, and then it is brought oh, yeah, back sorry, to I, each and every I one understand of the individual that. ones. All, all I was trying to understand, like we've got planning staff within our council. Why do we need this massive new budget to do more planning work? You know, that that's really what I'm trying to understand. ECAN's got planning staff. So actually all of our staff are actually 
genuinely working together, Councillor right. Johansson. We've deliberately done it on that basis to utilise the resource. To so what's where the we cost can. going towards? So, but we do need additional work to be done. This isn't just a business as usual aspect. It has to relate to the wider Greater Christchurch special planning work. And the mayor is absolutely right in linking that directly to our relationships with central government and our drive to secure an urban growth partnership. And this is one of the fundamental pieces. I, I genuinely can't give you, I can't remember off the top of my head. So I will get you yeah. the figure. I mean, I get that this work needs to be done. I guess I'm just trying to understand why it's costing so much, given that we've got existing capabilities within organisations. So if I can get a breakdown of it, that would be good. Yes, we can do Thanks. that for you, no yeah. problem. But I repeat, this isn't business as usual, do the planning stuff. It's significantly over and above that. Yeah. Yeah. Anne. Are we in questions still? Yes. To check. yes. <laughs> um, would it be possible to, I mean, I was looking at the resettlement forum, which was fantastic, and Paul Dazelle, the um, economist, spoke and did such a fantastic presentation. Um, I would love, um, well, yes, there is a connection. I would love an opportunity for him to come and give us a briefing at some point. Is that a, something we could, we could organise? He's, um, he presented excellent information in a very clear way, and I think it would be really useful. He's, he has um, uh, done that before for us, and a couple of years ago, I think, three years ago, it was very useful. So if we could get him to come back, I think it would be really great. And the other thing was... Um, I know how to contact him. No, you do? I know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just... um, well, the other thing is I could say that um, he actually... Uh, was um, used along with a couple of others uh, in a uh, presentation that was done for the mayoral forum on the future for local government. Mm. And again, some of the conversations mm. around the future for local government, which I'm going to report on in my next report, in which you are all being invited to um, a conversation mm. with, the, with the review team mm. that's been established. Um, I've, got the th I've got the date, the 2nd of July, in, yeah, the, in my head, right. yeah. but, um, so it's something along those dates. But, but I'll give a bit more of shape to um, the work, because this is very preliminary work that is going on in that space, but it might be good to get Paul to come mm. in in that context yeah, um, and provide some, um, you know, some of the background that he did with the mural forum mm -hmm. to the councillors as a whole. That would be really great. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And just one other question about just the success of the open, you know, council, the chambers on that open weekend was amazing. And is there any opportunity to do that again more regularly? Look, I, I have to say, you know, I'm really going to congratulate the team that mm. um, that, that put it together. Uh, I mean, and obviously the council team that provided support uh, but, you know, it was the work of um, Jessica Halliday and the, uh, the organisation that she, um, she leads. And because uh, I, I, I know that councillors were down here in the chamber to welcome people in here. And, I, you know, the feedback that I got, because I was upstairs in the meds lounge and, um, and people would come here and then they'd talk about how neat it was to meet some of the councillors and some of the stories that you obviously told. And a lot of people said, I sat in your chair. <laughs> I think my chair was a very popular place to be sitting. Um, and uh, and then, but I found out two things that I didn't realise myself. So the number of people who came into the open day said to me, we were due to come to the last open day, um, but the open day got cancelled. It was on the 4th of September 2010. And the reason that it was being held was the council had literally moved into the repurposed post office building. So that was one piece of information that I didn't know, was that the, the um, last open day that was scheduled, which makes me think we should do it again, um, that, uh, that, was, um, that was designed, uh, that was to showcase it got cancelled because of the earthquake. And the second thing that I found out was that the Mayor's Lounge was the staff cafeteria. <laughs> yeah, and um, and so the number of former post office workers who came in to look at the old cafeteria, 
and to look at their old building. You know, it was just great. So I, I had a thoroughly enjoyable day and um, it was well worth it. I thought that I was going to be able to work in my office and just pop out and see people, but it was just a steady stream of people coming in for a most enjoyable day. So, yeah, it was a great, great, great effort. Um, people actually couldn't believe that they could come in here and do that, and they couldn't believe that they could go up to sixth floor and meet you. It was they were absolutely gobsmacked about it, and I think we should do it every year, at least every two years, because oh, well, they the, loved it. They will do it every year. It's going to be an annual yeah, festival. Join up with them, yeah. but um, you know, I I I I wouldn't um, I wouldn't uh, you know say no to doing it a little bit more. Often than that, maybe maybe yeah, a couple of times, day, just yeah. just do an open day at the council, mm. every now and again. Yeah, bring people into town. It's a good idea. Actually, what we did in the chamber as well was actually, I talked people through how we conduct ourselves in here. Well, not <laughs> everyone, <laughs> but um, well, on Facebook. Yeah. Or, uh, <laughs> well, yeah, but you know the procedure, you know, and the meetings, and and the speaking, and the debating, and also particularly about down here where people can come in for public mm. forum and sitting there for deputations. And they were incredibly interested, and people actually didn't know how it all worked. So it was really brilliant, actually, really good. So uh, give too given that Open Christchurch are going to do it every, every year, um, that, you know, we might stick with that, yeah. but, but we might have a chat to um, uh, Jessica and, and, and think about whether we could do something just for the city council building, because it's actually a good way of bringing people into town. People really enjoyed going around the different buildings. Um, so, but, but even if it was just our building and, and maybe behind the scenes, maybe some of the council buildings, we could do it. But anyway, we'll talk, we'll talk to Jessica because she is absolutely a, a rock star when it comes to organising things like that. All right, so, um, well, I'll move my own report. Do I have a seconder? Jimmy Chen? Any discussion? Yanni? Thank, thank you. Um, just, just wanted to say in this period that I attended on behalf of Council the Sports Canterbury Awards, and I know um, Anse, Councillor Galloway and Major did as well. And just to acknowledge, I guess, that, um, you know, the council support of that event, but also our athletes uh, and our sports people, um, and they, they went to a new format this year, but it was actually really, really nice. Um, and council, the two awards that council gave out um, were f um, to the Aranui Eagles in, in um, Aranui, the league, the league club, um, as the um, sports community sports club of the year, and also um, uh, the best um, investment type, um, which was um, Canterbury Cricket for the lights at Hagley Oval. So those were the two that council acknowledge there's some really nice photos which um will, will circulate around for people to see but just want to acknowledge our staff because one thing that you know is really important is that it's been really hard for our sports people over the last decade um but when you see the success that so many of them have had that's a real tribute to our canterbury spirit so um just wanted to acknowledge that thank you thank you i'll put the motion all those in favor say aye, aye. those opposed say no that's carried thank you very much uh, social housing portfolio, red zone compensation. 